Hey everybody, this is um, going to be the first of the Bio 142 videos that you'll have this semester. You'll have several of them available to you um, just to um, help you study the information that you're going over in lab. So this is going to be lab one where we talked about blood cells. <coughs> this right here is showing you the model of a basic blood smear. So this is what you'd normally see in regular blood. You can see here lots of red blood cells, the little pink-ish looking cells. Remember red blood cells are called erythrocytes and their main role is to carry oxygen throughout the body. And you should see something very similar when you look under the microscope. And then we have a lot of white blood cells or leukocytes displayed here. These peachy looking ones are neutrophils and remember neutrophils are going to have multi-lobed nucleus, usually three or four lobes to their nucleus, and their cytoplasm will be a neutral color, usually like a light purple or light pink. They're a, one of the granular sites, granulocytes. So you've got three granulocytes, neutrophils is one, and neutrophils are going to eat bacteria, so they're phagocytic for bacteria specifically. Now here we have another of the granulocytes. This is an eosinophil. Eosinophils have the red staining granules in the cytoplasm and will usually have a bilobed nucleus. So it usually has two lobes of the nucleus with red granules. It's about the same size as a neutrophil, but the cytoplasm should appear very red in your microscope. And you can see on this model it has red granules. Eosinophils are phagocytic granulocytes and they are specifically designed to phagocytize parasites. Now the third granulocyte is right here called a basophil. Basophils take up the basic stain and they have blue staining granules. The blue staining granules will cover the entire cell even on top of the nucleus. So usually when you see these guys under the microscope, you can't really make out the nucleus, which usually has two or three lobes, but all you can see is a lot of purple dots. So this is a basophil. Basophils are granulocytes. They are phagocytic for allergens, and the granules contain histamine and heparin to help them participate in allergic and inflammatory responses. So those are your three granulocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Neutral, pale cytoplasm, multi-lobed. Eosinophils, red staining granules, bilobed nucleus. Basophils, lots of dark purple dots, two to three lobes of the nucleus. And they're all about the same size. A basophil is the smallest of the three. Then we have our two A granulocytes, which usually will have a very light staining cytoplasm because their granules are teeny tiny and don't really show up when you stain them. So the cytoplasm of these two cells will look kind of pale, pale blue, pale purple. You have the monocyte, which is the big one, and in this model, the monocytes have a gray colored cytoplasm. They will not look this dark on the microscope. Usually the nucleus of a monocyte is gonna be round, or shoe shaped, or kind of a kidney bean shape. The nucleus will be large, but you'll see a lot of cytoplasm in these cells. Monocytes are agranulocytes that specialize in becoming macrophages out in the tissue. So these guys will leave this um, plasma, migrate to tissues like the liver, the lungs, the skin, and kind of hang out and wait for uh, pathogens to come in. Once they um, eat that pathogen, then they will trigger an immune response. This is a lymphocyte, 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 which is the other A granulocyte. Lymphocytes are tiny, they're usually the smallest cells that you'll see besides the red blood cell, and they have a very large nucleus in comparison to their size. So their nucleus fills up just about the entire cell. With these guys, when you look at them under the microscope, you'll usually just see a very thin crescent of cytoplasm around the outside edge, and it will usually be pale purple or pale blue looking. You have to look closely to see it in some of the microscope slides, but it should be there. The 
thing you might confuse with a lymphocyte is going to be a basophil because a basophil will look all purple and you'll think it's the nucleus to the lymphocyte. So look carefully for that thin rim of cytoplasm around the edge. Lymphocytes are extremely important in, in uh, immune responses. They make B cells, which make antibodies. They make T cells, which kill tumor cells, kill virus-infected cells, and produce tons and tons of cytokines or chemicals that enhance all aspects of immunity. So very important in immune, uh, full system immune reactions. These little triangle and circle looking things in between your red blood cells are your thrombocytes, which are your platelets. And thrombocytes are important for blood clotting. Now I'm going to show you the white blood cells on the other models. The rest of this lab was all microscopes, so be sure you can identify these cells on the microscope slides on a normal blood smear. And then remember to look at your three diseases, sickle cell anemia, polycythemia, and leukemia. Okay, so these are our other blood cells. Now we have two sets of models that are showing you all of the different blood cells. This large set in the back and this smaller set in the front. So we'll start back here on, with these models. This is obviously an erythrocyte erythrocyte. <clears throat> this cell right here is a lymphocyte rim of cytoplasm, not a lot of granules, and a large nucleus. Usually these nuclei are round, but this one is kind of a kidney bean shape. With these smaller models, these are the two lymphocytes. This one's activated, this one's not activated. You can see a small rim of cytoplasm here and a very large nucleus in comparison to the size. This is a, and remember those are A granulocytes. This is one of the granulocytes, a neutrophil. One, two, three, four lobes of the nucleus. Neutral staining cytoplasm with purple and pink-ish granules. This is a neutrophil as well. One, two, three lobes to this nucleus. Purplish cytoplasm. On this one it has some little red granules. Just be sure not to mix this up with an eosinophil. This is another granulocyte, a basophil, dark purple granules, lots of them, multi-lobed nucleus, and this is a basophil as well, dark, in this case black granules, multi-lobed nucleus. This right here is our third granulocyte, an eosinophil. Notice the big red granules, there's lots of those, and the bilobed nucleus. This is also an eosinophil, red staining granules that are large and a bilobed nucleus. The only other cell we have is a monocyte, which you can see right here. Very large cell, if you compare it to a lymphocyte, for example. Kidney bean shaped nucleus and not a whole lot of granules in the cytoplasm. We don't have another example of a monocyte. This is the only one. And then this little guy right here that looks like a spider is your platelets that have kind of clumped together. So this is thrombocytes. Okay, that just about does it for lab one. Make sure you look at your histology pictures. And we'll continue with the next video, which will be on the heart.